Welcome to Tarot Q&A Tuesday. It's my first one from Raglan in my new home, that is. And I'm excited to have all of your beautiful faces staring at me today. It's a nice, refreshing change from a whole lot of names on the screen. So we have a lot of pre prepared questions that have been sent in more so than usual because we were not here last week did you miss me Jess has texted and saying can I please have a random card yes you can Jess you might be a little bit towards the end because I'm going to prioritize those who have kind of got prepared earlier not trying to be a big meanie peeny. Anyway, let's see what happens today. It's nice to have you here, Zoe, as well. It's good to have some new faces. So let's begin with a good shuffle, and I want to connect in, and we will tune into the first name that appears in my presence, Carmen. Well, she's lucky because she's not even here yet, so we'll just roll with that today. Carmen, so regarding employment, is it my mindset about work that needs to change, or is it a new job? If new, what time frame do you think I'm looking at? Okay, so like as usual, there's a lot of ways we can approach these cards. <laughs> but as I was actually just shuffling these cards, this, these two cards just fell out, and I'm just going to roll with them for the moment. I'm going to pull another one to double check but what we've got here is the ace of pentacles now this often indicates the start of a new job or start of a money-making venture so you know it seems pretty appropriate right however i also had this card fall out which is the death card otherwise known as the rebirth card so one would say time for a new job but let's just test the cards eh? let's just put me out of my comfort zone and see whether a second card pull or an official card pull will give you a different answer this will this will test the the, re, the reality of my vibes won't it Carmen we're just going to get a general card because this kind of told us quite a bit in the last pull my name is Carmen we want well the last drop of the cards I should say I should say sometimes there's no well, um, let's just say it, there is never a thing such as a coincidence, right? Mm -hmm. I'm glad we pulled the other cards because what we have here is the tower card. Now, one would often go, whoa, oh my goodness, it's the worst card in the deck. However, it's all also the best card in the deck because the tower is crashing down that comes crashing down and the world as we know it is never the same again however it's a destiny related card and that is always a positive transformation just doesn't always feel like it this could imply that changing into a new profession or changing how you're doing life at the moment may actually not necessarily feel so smooth or easy yet it is for your highest good i feel there's a little bit of work to do before you can just snap into the new job the vibe is to get yourself ready for whatever that might be so I've, i feel we've said something like this before which is don't just look for a new job, find that new part of you and allow the job to appear or to unfold or to present itself when the time is right, when you're in the zone to start that new venture of life, that new beginning, that rebirth. I feel it in my loins. I've felt it before for you. We're saying the same thing, Carmen. We're going to whip along now to, just let someone else in the room, to Renee, because it's good to have you here a couple of weeks in a row. Renee, will I hear about funding for my surgery soon? And will it be granted? When will I hear? And if it's no, like I won't get the funding, what should I do? Renee, so if appropriate to read for Renee today. How do we approach this? Let's just pull a card, get the vibe. Okay, we are shifting into Renee's energy. What do we need to hear about this procedure, this situation? Oh, you need the funding. 
Yeah, I'm actually feeling it's a yes, you will get the funding. I've got a lot of positivity here. However, there is a little bit of an extra bit of information that's probably no shock to you, and that is the balance card. This would require this procedure, whether you, whether you actually got the funding or not, still requires your part of the bargain. So there is a definite balance of procedure and self-care. You might say you know this already but that card actually just came out so it's pretty 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 obvious uh let me just feel into the time frame i'm getting uh maybe 10 to 12 weeks but that sounds longer than your expectation doesn't it or like i've got a there's i read it as that you could also say no i'm going to stay with that i was going to translate it to four but within yeah within that three month cycle i feel i mean times are not necessarily my forte because a lot of things can change depending on other people's free will choices however at least it's a positive answer in itself eh? i do feel that this is a big change for you as well it's funny how we got that rebirth card and in fact for Carmen and in fact I was talking last night in Cosmic Consulting about my own rebirth after moving to Raglan or during my move to Raglan I too have had a lot of stuff come up which is not always what feels good yet the outcome is you know that like nothing that is well, I don't like to say no pain no gain but there is an element to having earned the result of what you create in your own life right so it's anything in life is like that. We like to have this sense of achievement. And there's an element to that with your situation too, Renee, without going into the nitty gritty. You know what I mean. You know, like you need to know that you've been doing things good for you because you are worthy of being treated like the beautiful vessel of the goddess that you are, you could say. <laughs> anyway without going into details so let's whip into oh thank you Renee Renee says new home looks lovely sorry I've had to turn my video off for privacy oh fine it's all good <laughs> it's totally fine um Michelle and yeah sorry Renee I always say too much information but everybody's the same on here a lot of people keep their camera off and that's totally fine particularly if you're having a bad hair day or you wanted to cook your dinner and pretend you're watching but really you're just listening it's all good by me Michelle my friend has cancelled her wedding in Australia hmm what's that about that's interesting do I still go with these current plans and visit before heading away to Europe and use this time to reconnect with friends and colleagues while I'm over there anyway, or is it a sign to alter my entire trip? As little as there is maybe something better or aligned for me? Anyway, many thanks for your queendom. Oh, I love your words, Michelle. I love your words. Okay, Michelle, do you still go to the wedding, to Australia, I should say? Do you still go to the location where the wedding was going to be to use the time for something else? Okay, do still go. Simple question really, isn't it? And then we might get some deeper feeling into why. <laughs> yes is the answer. I'm just trying to read this. Yes is the answer. This surfy girl is stepping forward into a new land and enjoying a new space. She's moved or traveled somewhere. She's actually in the space. She's not thinking about it. She's moved there. So if you go into a beach, get on the beach and enjoy that ocean, enjoy the process. There's just something around uh, a lot of responsibility and stress on your shoulders, whether that's been, I think it's kind of like a relief actually. I feel like, yeah, just go anyway and enjoy it. Is it correct action to go really? Yeah, I do feel it is correct action to go. It's kind of a, Oh, it's just a bit of fun really a bit of 
bit of enjoying life in the moment, not just about having to do and be and achieve and go somewhere and get somewhere. It's just going there with no agenda to remove the responsibility, let go of the stress. It's actually going to be a nice transition between where you are now and the big trip. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. I am loving seeing all your faces here. We're going to launch into Zoe's question now. She's been waiting for a while because she was sent this in last week. Will my husband be successful with his head of hostel job application? Okay, I need to get my vibes sorted with these cards. Did you notice I'm still using these new cards? They've actually been um, stuck with me. It's like I've moved house, moved location, and we have retired the old deck. May not be anything to anyone else, but when you are reading tarot, you get quite attached to your portal, you could say. Well, I do, anyway. Zoe, we know Zoe's husband. Is it going to be a successful application for this role? I feel good. It's a, quite a new idea. Yeah, I feel you will be celebrating. I feel this is a, this is, it just feels a bit different actually. Maybe, like did this idea come out of the blue or something that to even apply for this or, well I don't know, it, it's, it's coming up, yes, and I do see cause for celebration. We have the four of wands there as well. So it is important to actually celebrate too. Like these are life events that we go, oh yeah, cool, got that, get on with the next thing. No, make sure you be in the moment and enjoy it. Favorable, feels really favorable. So there's, there's good energy. I mean, I'm feeling it is that. If it's not that, then there is reason for celebration. So that would be something better. So if there's another idea that comes out of the blue during now and that time of finding out, that might have an association with the reason to celebrate. Whatever it is, you're in the right place at the right time. Well, he's in the right place at the right time. You could say that. So yeah, this is all good news for everybody really, isn't it? Hi Brenda, nice to see you here again as well. Right, Leah, let's whip you up a little answer, huh? Oh no, I'm going to make you all pause there because last time I forgot to do the collective conscious card. So let's just tune into the entire group, whoever happens to watch this. If you're on YouTube, remember, give me a thumbs up. I do love the love. And you can write your question for next week in the comments if you're watching this version of Tarot Q&A Tuesday on YouTube. These cards are flying all over the show. What? Three cards, one card, two cards, two cards. We're going to get two cards for a, an overview for the next month for everybody that happens to watch this episode. What is the message, the wisdom of the tarot that we all need to hear right now? including those that have asked questions and those that are watching the replay. First card, second card. And it's brewing. Thank you for your patience. Okay, this is the message. Is it time to? I'm just getting clarity on this because this would be easy to read if it was for one person. However, reading a collective card can complicate things. So I have the Ten of Cups here, which is an absolute beautiful card of inner fulfillment. It is like the completion. But the thing is about this particular card is it's like in it, if you can see it, it's this happy family, they've got rainbows and unicorns, literally, and there's two kids, it's like the white picket fence, they've ticked all the boxes, they've finally made it, 
that that won't necessarily look the same for everyone but what happens is people get to this point in their life sometimes and they do they tick all the boxes that they thought they needed to tick and then then they go well now what like they've done they've ticked they've got it all and this particular card is a 10 the 10 of cups which is the completion of a cycle now it's not to say that it won't be of i don't know what to do about this light guys uh it won't be that you will be happy you won't not be happy with what you've got but there comes a time where you start seeking again it's like what i call the love bridge there's always something that we we get to the end of the love of the bridge we get to what we where we wanted to go like we got the job or the boyfriend or the girlfriend or the situation that we wanted to happen and then there's another desire that launches right we're never without the next thing so the next card that I pulled around that was actually the Knight of Pentacles, which is a, it's a, re, Pentacles represents security and money and our grounded reality of life. Like it's all about the root chakra, that red chakra, the base, it's getting us, it can be do, to do with money, jobs, houses, careers, anything that is doing human life. So it's not so spiritually based. And the knight represents an instigation of something, but it's plodding along. It's just moving at a pace that is not rushing in. It's very sensible and there's nothing wrong with it. Reading this for a group collective would, would remind people that we always need to appreciate what's on the love bridge because when you get to this end, you don't find you get fulfilled for five seconds like you buy your new tv or your new car or your new necklace or your new dress or you even get the deep meaningful things like a love but then we always have these other things so don't wait for the fulfillment enjoy the plotting process enjoy the process of growing the next thing whether it is a business or a new job or ideas for the next life creation it's just a reminder really about appreciation that inner fulfillment doesn't come from getting all those boxes ticked. It comes from loving the moments in every single day. Not rocket science, but it is a piece of wisdom that most people, and I will say most people, which is a gross thing to say, like a big thing to say, because but most people don't. I mean, a lot of people that watch the tarot and do my classes are already into the gratitude and appreciation of life. So for you, yes, I'm kind of preaching to the converted. I realize that. However, tell your friends, remind people to get on the love bridge. I made a YouTube video about it. You can Google that, Fiona McLeod, the love bridge, and find out how to stay on it so that every day is a happy day, not just when you get the goals that you've set in your 10 year plan finally. Cool. As usual, a long way around explaining something. But you know, we're here to chat and listen <laughs> to me. <laughs> All right, let's get into Leah. What is the best way for me to entice new clients? Reach out to previous ones and to keep existing ones. Finances are holding people back. Shall I offer them a payment plan? I mean, I already offer Afterpay. Okay, the best way to entice clients into your particular business Leah we are going to get some interesting messages for you today I can sense that <laughs> we've got the ten of cups again I just I just shuffled those cards you saw that so okay we're going to sit with that one we're going to get another card oops i'll just get it to tell a bit of a story the best way to entice people along to you Oh, this is quite a big story of how you can communicate with your uh, okay so I've got this at the five of swords which is feels quite an un, and it feels like very much 
I always like to use the word unstable. It sounds terrible when you're reading someone's card. It doesn't mean that people are unstable. It means that life feels a bit <laughs> stressed out, thinking too much. So you can see this guy, he's like totally oh, stressing out about all these thoughts that are in his head. And we wanted to know a way that you could entice the clients. So when we are talking about giving our clients that inner fulfillment and moving away from the stress, you're probably onto something with seeing the problem that they're not, that that's come up for them, like they can't pay, and alleviating that. There is more to that though. In your potential email marketing, what I'm feeling is that you approach the clients with the story that they can relate to that you can solve the problem of. Once again, I know, seemingly basic. Yet, are you doing that? Because it's about changing the way that you communicate and also doing your line of work different to the average style that people in your industry do. So you can, it's, it's very important to have a vision of what you really want to achieve in the business other than making money and seeing lots of clients. So what do you want to achieve for your clients? What do you want, what do you want to be able to transform for your particular client? What is the what is the beautiful outcome that you can provide? And there will be some there'll be many stories. So launch into the stresses of your clients physically and emotionally. Pick five and use those as the draw card to get their attention. So yes, one of them could be money. Another one could be confidence or information about what, you know, giving them details on the, the scary thing that they feel about the treatments that you offer. The... It, there's another one that's more important that is what you're wanting to do is bust the myth that is really commonly aligned with your business that gives your industry a negative look so it's not saying your industry is negative it's giving you the opportunity to give reason to why what you do is so wonderful your question was, what can I do to entice clients to come to me? So it is very much about connecting with them and providing answers that, so that they can relieve the stress and embrace more personal happiness and fulfillment. So find the stress, find the answer and communicate it with your clients via email, I feel. Email, yep, email. Okay. That's that one. There is so much more, but that's a good start, isn't it? Whoo, Shelly. Sorry, I can't make it to your live readings as I'm still normally at work when that time is, but I love watching the following day. Yay. I have sent a question in today because I have an opportunity to look at a new job and change career. I'm excited about looking into it. I just wondered if you could see any more about it. Okay, Shelly wants to know the vibe around this potential career change opportunity. Oh, 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 whoa. Okay, cards falling out. We're just going to roll with this today. Are these the cards? Int oh, this is, yeah. Okay, I like this a lot. A lot like the first card we read for Carmen, because what we've got here is a combination of this is the judgment card, which means letting go of old stuff, letting go of the past, forgiving yourself and others. But in particular with this situation, it is releasing the shackles of the past so that you can launch forward. And the second card that fell out is the strength card, which is all about coming into your personal power and really being the being in your full presence, being in the energy that is your truth without all the hang-ups of human life. So without all our limiting beliefs and without 
the self-doubt. So I, I feel, yes, go for this opportunity. It has the potential to, it's a bit of transformation and rebirth going on in a few of these cards, right? So that is, yeah, I just feel it would be a bit of an up-leveling opportunity. So I just want to double check that for Shelley in a different kind of sense. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that you would have even a more like a to autonomous role where you can be quite the not leader, perhaps just more a more prominent, respected role. So you, yeah, you just kind of are somebody who people respect as having that. The leadership, not so much the leadership skills, just the ability to do a great job. More respect and using your skills in a way that you can then see how great you are by the actual proof of you doing the job and which would up-level your personal confidence. You know, when you, when you achieve something, when you do something you haven't done before and see that you can do something that's out of your comfort zone or different to the norm, of course you're going to be proud of yourself so that's going to increase your personal confidence isn't it isn't it i think so we're going to take it as that anyway because we're whizzing through these whoa i apologize if they might have gone too fast for some of you it's just that there's a lot on this list today linda oh saving the more juicy one for last <laughs> apologies linda how rude of me my former partner, who I am house sharing with at the moment, has asked if we can get back together. Have things changed enough to warrant me giving this some sincere consideration? Or will it be same old, same old? Well, you know, how does it feel is the question that I wanted to ask you first. Actually, the card that flipped over then was a Two of Swords. So that's actually somebody who's blindfolded trying to make a decision with their head. And they can't make the decision because they're thinking too much. But this is really a feeling decision, isn't it? I mean, you've got to feel into your gut instinct. We, we, we will get you more information. Fear not. But I will say, you can't really think that kind of stuff. you kind of got to just know it, don't you? Like, you've kind of got to get the vibe of, well, there is some logic involved. Obviously, if he's being a dickhead, you're going to go, eh, well, it's probably not looking too promising for you, maybe potato. So, Linda. She's at a blind spot. She's at a crossroads about what to do, actually. It's tempting. It's tempting. It feels a little bit tempting. <laughs> is that a head shake? Yes. <laughs> it's just tempting. It's tempting. Uh, potential to... <laughs> um, maybe just pause on that for a moment <laughs> I feel I did just pull over the tower which is like um, sorry I'm, my, my son is changing so I literally don't know how you can see me but I will try and make nope that didn't work We'll fix the lighting for next time. Yeah. It's a bit of a no at this point. However, there is always opportunities to change. And if you can, if it can gradually build passion from a new ignition, like a fresh spark, then hey roll with the fresh spark i've just pulled over the ace of wands which is the start of a new passion that was what needs to happen rather than it be a logical decision it's got to be something that stirs from within that and if that is the case okay gosh this is a little bit more complicated isn't it <laughs> A little bit of too much information don't let it just be all about the action you know like anything it can't be a physical thing if it, it has to be it has to have a different dynamic and look 
This is too juicy not to stop. I'm sorry, Linda. Playing with fire here. We are just going to pull a couple more cards to get a bit clearer a story so that you could actually potentially change the current outcome by changing the way you process the situation. Mm. I've got the same story in a different way all over again. So I'm going to show you this so you guys can see how we cannot trick the tarot. First of all, I've got, this is a walking away from something that is quite good in many ways, but there's a missing, missing component to the overall emotional fulfillment. You know there's something more, there's, you know there's something missing. That's the current situation. So that was the no card that I got with the tower in the first pull. What sort of tarot reader does two pulls about one same card? I mean, same question. How naughty, but isn't it funny? We didn't get fooled though, we got the answers the same. This card is the Knight of Passion, the Knight of Wands. So very similar in context to the Ace of Wands. So we got the Tower, then the Ace of Wands, and then we got the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. It's the same story within the question, which means no at the moment. Yet, if there is a mutual like think of it as a new relationship it has to be a new relationship it cannot be as you say same old same old so it's not a decision you make with your head it's an experience that unfolds based on each other's actions mm. <laughs> Linda's like definitely not that regarding that <clears throat> action well you don't know yet but <laughs> Don't put things in the messages guys if you don't want me to read them because I read them and then I realize that it was a private message because I'm in a different zone so I apologize if I have said the wrong thing to anyone. Which I haven't really. You know I'm here with love. Jessica! Jessica! Let's pull you a random card. Jess. Jess. What does Jessica need to hear today? <sighs> Interesting. The Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is all about hashtag surrender. Now, Jessica, I don't know if you mind me saying this. I actually don't think you will. Jessica sent me a photo today. Is it okay if I say something about that? It was a picture of a COVID test, which was finally got out. But you know what's funny about it is this is exactly what you'll be doing with this situation, surrendering. But the second funny part of that story, later today, well, later, later that day, later this day, I got another friend send me the exact same thing. I'm like, what is it? Send people's pictures of positive COVID test day? I was like waiting for the third one to happen. It did not. So this is your time to surrender to all thinking. Swords of thoughts, 10 of swords, 10 is the completion. It's a, it's just, it is just a, a letting go. And it's a really interesting time to receive this, especially after our chat in the Cosmic Consulting last night which I shared a lot of experiences about my personal exhaustion and fatigue that I had to just stop and be and go within and listen and hear the wisdom and the inspiration that grew from that. It's actually a gift. It doesn't feel like it when you're tired and you want to get on, get on, get on and do exciting things in life. But that letting go and that surrender time is the stopping of resistance, the stopping of the fight, and within that becomes a stillness that all the good stuff lies in. We never have an inspired thought in the middle of being super stressed in our head. We have those crazy thoughts, the idea out of the blue, when we are randomly at peace in the shower going for a beach walk women not thinking so my question to you Jessica is can you let go and just ask 
for all the insights and the inspiration to present in due course and enjoy the process of being home, chilling out, reading some good books, listening to some beautiful music and all that jazz. One new message. <laughs> I can only try, she says. <laughs> oh, well, yep, high five. <laughs> Yes, you can. Maybe not try. That's the whole point. Bless your little cotton socks. Do not try. Just do, just be, just do not do. <laughs> That's quite classic. I'm so mean and cheeky today, eh? Hassling you. But you know what I mean when I say that, right? That's the epitome of not surrendering. Trying. But you do very well with your life, Jessica, so there is no judgment from me. I'm just teasing you because I know you can handle the jandle. Is there any other questions? Who have I forgotten? It's been lovely having all your beautiful faces here. Zoe, Leah, Shelley, Renee, Michelle, Carmen, Linda. I think we're done. Brenda, are you up for something? Would you like to? No. Just a card? Okay, Brandy Boo. Oh, you just reminded me. I feel I feel the urge to have a little spray, Brenda. <laughs> this is my favourite one at the moment. Royal Blue. Very good for opening up your intuitive ways. It's that third eye chakra, the sh colour of the sixth chakra which I use obviously when reading because it just enhances my intuitive abilities. Smells so good. That's actually the main reason I use it. Brenda. Oh, interesting. I have been reminded of something that came to mind about you recently. This is the Six of Cups, which is a very nostalgic card. can be read in all sorts of ways about beautiful memories of family and friends from the past. However, this has just stimulated a idea that I wanted to share with you. Have you heard of the technique called havening? Yes. Yeah. Let's talk to you about that a little bit more. Just thought you might find it very interesting and very good combination with the orosoma work that you do alongside other, you know, personal opportunities and clinic stuff. Hashtag you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, thank you for your patience with my crazy chat. I look forward to seeing you all here next week. Maybe we could do something different when I get the lighting sorted. I will arrange for another full card spread, a 10 card spread, in a week or two. After Easter, I think, would be a great time. That's more of the re... Oh my goodness! Have you just realised why we're going on about this rebirthing at this time for all of us? This is the whole theme of Easter, even if you're not religious, which I'm not. This is energetically a time of... Letting go of the old. Coming into a new way of doing stuff. Leah, a new way of marketing your business. A new job for Zoe, well, Zoe's partner. A, a new experience going overseas, Michelle. A new way of treating yourself, Renee. A new way of handling your life in surrender, Jess, more self-love. And it was also relative to Carmen's new job opportunity. So this is an opportunity to say bye-bye past. Let's renew for a fresh new year. Hey, even if you're not religious, still an energetic vibe that's out there, right? Go eat all your chocolate Easter eggs and I will look forward to seeing you here next week. Same time. Love you lots. Bye.